Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Danielle with Dan Fancy Creations, and today we're going to be doing another Tumblr tutorial. This time there is no glitter. We are going to be using spray paint, armor art, and epoxy. It really is that simple for this Tumblr. I made two of these a few years ago for my brother and dad, and they both loved them. They are both big beer drinkers. I made a light beer for my dad and a darker craft beer for my brother, which matched with their taste in beers. Um, armor art is definitely the key thing I use in this tumbler. It really helps to give the appearance of the cells that you would find in real beer foam. So it really helps just kind of bring that aspect out. So if you guys are ready to see how I create my beer inspired tumblers, let's get started. So to start this tumbler, we are going to grab a prepped cup. I sand mine and then base coat them with a matte white spray paint. So we are going to spray paint this tumbler yellow with some brown overspray. I use sun yellow. Obviously, if you want your beer a different color, you can always pick the color that you're looking for. And I will spray this yellow all the way up the tumbler until about an inch or two from the top. That is where our beer foam or the head of the beer is going to go. Obviously, if you were pouring a beer, you would not want that much head or foam on your beer. But since that is a fun aspect of this tumbler, that is what we are going to be doing. <laughs> So once we have our yellow sprayed, we are going to go back and mist a little bit of brown all over the tumbler besides the very top. And this mist just kind of gives the appearance of air bubbles or things like that um, when we cover it with the epoxy and the ink. You do want to be very careful when you spray this. I hold the tumbler as far away from me as I can because you don't want any big splots of brown paint. You just want it misted. You can kind of see on the video how it's very, very fine mist just to kind of give the appearance of bubbles in the glass. And once this paint dries, we will be ready to epoxy and apply our inks and armor art. So now that our cup is ready to epoxy, I'm going to mix some alcohol inks into epoxy. I am using sunshine yellow. It is a lighter color of yellow ink, which is what I am going for for the lighter color beer. Obviously, if you want to go with a dark color beer, you would use darker inks. So once I have this ink matched up, we are going to apply the ink just over the yellow part of the tumbler. And I do apply this a little bit thicker than I would a you know, normal layer of epoxy if we were doing the epoxy method or something like that, because the way that the inks move do help create that depth and dimension. Because if you have a little bit of a thicker spot of the ink, then it's going to be a little bit darker, which is, you know, what we want kind of in like a real, real beer. I still do my bottoms very thin. I don't want any globs down there. And I also typically wipe my cups from top to bottom, but we are not doing that with the beer cups because then you would see the ink strokes go from top to bottom, which just would not be realistic on a real beer. So I'm going to smooth it from side to side, which could give the illusion of swirls or, you know, what it would look like when you're pouring a real beer. And once I have my inks on there, I'm going to use some white armor art mixed in epoxy and apply it to the top of our tumbler. I make my 
Armor Art Epoxy Mixture. Pretty opaque. It's just how, how I like the look of it. Um, when it blends with the inks, it gives a really cool effect. If it was not as opaque, then you would not get that same contrast. So we are just mixing it up really well. And I will use my popsicle stick to just kind of add some to the top rim of my cup. And then I will go back and smooth it down. So I will smooth it on the top part first. And then I will bring this Armor Art mixture down into the yellow inks. And the cells start to form when the ink and the Armor Art mixture start to mix together. And I will bring some of the inks up into the Armor Art as well. And once I am generally happy with the ink armor art mixture, I will pop the bubbles on my tumbler. I will also focus on the top rim where the armor art and the white or the armor art and the inks are because if you hit this with heat, that really helps the epoxy start to spread and really form those cells. They will form a little bit on their own, but if you hit it with heat, it is like 10 times the cells that you would get. And that is pretty much it for this layer. So once our first layer is dry, we are going to go back and add a second layer and pretty much do exactly the same thing. I am using a little bit of a darker mixture this time. It is still sunshine yellow, but this just gives it a little bit more depth and dimension. So you can still see, you know, the colors and the spray paint underneath, but the inks just add kind of a filter really to the underneath colors. And when I use my, um, or when I create my darker beer, I usually use colors like ginger or um, there's a brown from Bria Reese that I really like. They are much darker than this color and again we are being really conservative with the inks on the bottom we don't want any globs down there and then we are smoothing it out from side to side instead of up and down and this time I did go a little bit higher with the inks and covered some of that white And again, I know for all of you bartenders out there, it is not good to have that much head on a beer, but we want it because it gives it a cool effect. And we are doing the same thing, just smoothing out that top white area. and then smoothing it into the inks. And 
and I just kind of smooth it back and forth, bring some of the brown up into the white, and then some of the white down into the brown or yellow. And then we're going to do the same thing that we did before. Get our torch out, pop those bubbles, and then focus on the white and ink area where they meet just to get those cells to form and create that cool look that we're going for. I did have a piece of fuzz that I had to pick out, which is always fun to do. <laughs> And once you're happy with how the cells are looking, just put the torch down, walk away. We don't want to get it too liquidy and start to run everywhere. And then once this layer of epoxy has cured, we are going to bring it off, sand it really good. So here are some close-up shots of the cells. I know it's a little bit hard to see, but you guys can see how those little cells are popping up on our beer foam, which is super cool. I love that look. And we are just going to sand our rims really good. I always angle my sanding sponge and just kind of sand in a circular motion around the entire tumbler. This will help remove one or two millimeters of paint and epoxy from our top rims so that when we apply our final layer of epoxy, we are 100% sure that everything is good and sealed in and has a nice smooth rim. When you are sanding your rims, you can also sand the entire tumbler if there are any little you know dust that you may have noticed be sure to sand that down really good make sure your bottoms are also even then we are going to clean it really well with dawn dish soap dry it and then put it on our turner for the final layer of epoxy I'm going to show you guys a close-up of this rim really quick so you guys can see there is just the tiniest bit of stainless showing but once we cover it with epoxy we will know everything is sealed in really good and that is pretty much it for this tutorial i know it is a short one um it is super easy to do I love the look of this. You guys can see from my pictures how some ink is a little bit darker than other inks, which just helps to give depth and dimension to our beer cups. If you guys enjoyed this video or learned something new, please be sure to like, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to catch the next video coming up that was picked just for you. As always, if you're looking for more tips, tricks, or tutorials, be sure to find my tutorial group on Facebook, which is linked in the description. Thanks for watching.